Hi, this is Jim from Cable Supply, and today we're going to talk about communications cable. Um, and we have two types here. We have Cat 5E and Category 6. So we have Category 5E and Category 6. Uh, this is Category 5E uh, right here, and um, E stands for Enhanced, and there's different categories. Um, uh, we used to use Category 3 uh, years ago for uh, uh, 10 base T uh, networks and then we would also use it for uh, voice networks but in reality the difference in cost between a, a, a CAT3 and a CAT5E cable is um, very uh, insignificant so we don't actually even use category 3 anymore uh, we use category 5E mostly in most of our installs uh, in this year anyway uh, 2009 um, but some people are starting to request uh, CAT6 and if you notice a difference uh, CAT6 can handle a lot more data throughput than CAT5E uh, can and if you notice if you look real close there you'll notice that uh, the CAT6 which is this one has a lot tighter uh, twists in it than the CAT5E um, and that makes it, that gives it the ability to um, transmit more data um, uh, when the, the cable is twisted tightly. And that should be kept in mind that when you're punching it down, you want to keep the twist all the way up to the termination as close as practically possible. Um, four pair is your standard uh, these days, uh, no matter what kind of cable you pull and these are the four pairs and in communications voice and data cabling we always refer to it as as four cables um, uh, four cable pairs rather than individual cables of uh, eight cables so it's a four pair cable category 5E here and this is four pair category 6 notice that it also has this little separator in there see that separator? not all CAT6 have the separator in there but this keeps the uh, the equal spacing between the, um, the different pairs while they're in the, the casing. And uh, that also affects its ability uh, to transmit data. Um, also, if you notice, both of them have a little string here hanging off the end. And um, uh, the string is used uh, for stripping the cable. Let me strip the cable and I'll show you what I mean. And, and how it's done. So normally you have to notch a little bit like this and then pull out the outer casing. Now in some cases if you look real close you see here I nicked the cable in a couple places using this cutter or no matter what device you use it's going to nick the cable a little bit. So you take this string and sometimes you have to start it. But you take the string and you pull down. You see how it's stripping the casing? As much space as you need. And what you do then is you pull this back and then you cut off the ones that you may have nicked. Because they will cause you problems in the future. So now you're now you're ready to terminate. Then of course you cut this back and that gives you uh, your cable and it's ready to terminate. Now application wise um, if you need um, the higher data or you want to invest in your building and uh, go with something that, that uh, you know will give you more flexibility in the future then you can go with uh, CAT6 here and that's an investment in the, in the infrastructure of your building. If you don't think that you're going to be in the building longer than let's say five years or it may even last longer than that. Cat 5e is quite sufficient and, and it's uh, uh, data speeds and is 90% uh, of the applications today call for Cat 5e. We also use this for voice. Um, we used to use category 3 for 10 base T 10 years ago, 15 years ago and we'd use that for voice but the difference between PVC uh, 5 a category 5e and PVC uh, category 3 is so insignificant that we don't stock category 3 anymore. Uh, very few people use it. 
So here's your 5V, very inexpensive. PVC stands for um, the coating or the jacket on the outside, this little jacket here. And what that means is you cannot use that in what's called a plenum rated ceiling. You can't use PVC cable in a plenum rated ceiling. And in some cases, depending on what city you live in, um, you have to use uh, plenum rated cable even if you don't have a, uh, even if you're not pulling through a plenum. And the reason why is the plenum coating uh, during a fire uh, does not produce toxic fumes where the PVC when it burns does produce toxic fumes and makes it dangerous for those who are in the building during a fire uh, such as firemen. So um, in some cases by code you can put in PVC, in some cases you have to put in plenum. The most inexpensive cable today is Cat5V PVC. The, mo the most expensive cable today that's in general use I'm talking about. I'm not talking about specialty cables or or telephone cable or things like that. Um, I'm talking about voice and data cable that's used today in most buildings. The most expensive is going to be your plenum coated uh, outside, your, your plenum rated coating outside, and your CAT6. That's going to be almost four times more in price than your CAT5E. So as you're doing your um, your uh, uh, design of your network to install cable in a new building, Take into consideration the cost and benefit factors of what category you're going to use, and then also check with local codes to see if you need uh, plentum or, or if you can use PVC cable. Most places PVC is acceptable, and in most cases uh, uh, CAT5V works uh, fine. Uh, let's talk about the four pairs um, that are in this cable. Uh, and and uh, four pair is a standard these days. If you're going to use it for computers, you're, you know, to, to attach to an RJ45, you're going to need all four pairs to attach to an RJ45. If you're using this cable to attach for voice and you're going to put in an RJ11 jack, then you only need one pair per RJ11 because they only use one pair. But anyway, let's look at the pairs. Um, um, the first pair is the blue pair. The second is the orange. Um, the third is the green, and the fourth is the brown pair. And this is it's, so it's blue white or white blue, uh, orange white, white orange, uh, green white, um, green uh, or white green, and brown white and white brown. That's how it's actually named. Um, the first wire in each pair. Um, and you can see the blue running through the white there, will be your predominantly white line. So it's wire one, wire two, pair one. In this case, it's obviously it's going to be wire three, wire four, pair uh, two, second pair. So that's, that's how you, you pick the wires, and um, that's how they should be uh, put in order. So pretty much like this, one, two, three, four, of course, five, six, seven, eight. But that's your pairs and that's your wire orders. And that stays the same whether it's CAT 5E or CAT 6. So uh, this is a brief overview of the two categories and also a brief description of the two coatings on the outside, uh, the PVC coating or the plenum rated or fire rated uh, exterior. Um, and the differences between the two in both um, application and in price. Again, my name is Jim from CableSupply.com. Uh, thank you for viewing the uh, video, and if you have any suggestions for other videos, please don't hesitate to email us. Please visit our website. Um, our website is www.CableSupply.com. Thank you.